Okay, I've got a few more examples for you here where we're going to solve for all values of real numbers x and y in these uh, two examples. So, in the first one, the equation x plus iy equals 3 minus 4. Well, this really means the point x, y is the point negative 4 and 3. And that is to say that x equals negative 4 and y equals 3. And uh, another way you could say this is simply that the, the real terms are equal to x equals negative 4, real terms, and the imaginary terms are equal to y equals 3. And that's it. So that's your, your two equations there. Now for this second example, it's, it's a little more um, involved. But we see that the right-hand side of the equation is equal to 0. And, you know, 0 is actually a complex number. So it's actually 0. So in this form, 0 plus iy. So these are the two real parts of this complex number. And then the real part of the left-hand side, the equation must be 0, and so must the imaginary part to be equal to this. So 0 plus 0i is really what's, really what's going on there. And so uh, if we continue this, we see that working with the real part, x plus 2y plus 3 equals 0, and 3x minus y minus 1 equals 0. So to find x and y, we solve uh, these equations simultaneously, and we multiply the second equation by 2, and then add the equations together. So I'm going to do that now. Multiply by 2. Just write it over here again. So we have x plus 2y plus 3 equals 0. Then we have 6x minus 2y minus 2 equals 0. And this comes out, well, x plus 6x, we get 7x uh, plus 2y minus 2y is just blank. And then we get plus 1, 3 minus 2 equal to 0. And so we just rearrange this and we solve for x. And we get that x is equal to negative 1 over 7. And then from the, the second equation, we can also get that y equals 3x minus 1, which equals 3 times negative 1 divided by 7 minus 1. And this comes out to be equal to negative 10 over 7. And that is it.